All right, let's look at this. 1993 Key West 2000 Blue Water model. Nice looking about boat from the outside. Let's take a walk and look around. I bought this boat about a year and a half ago. Uh, came with this trailer. Had to make a few repairs here and there, but nothing serious. One thing I had to do was put some new tires on there. I believe they were the original tires that came with it when I bought it. See this concrete pad here it's sitting on? That's because my yard is not level. So I raised it up by five inches maybe. And now it's pretty level. So the water drains. I have the rollers underneath. It's an easy load trailer. Coming around to the front. I had to add the uh, this new jack here because the old one was all rusted out. This is my sad looking chicken here she's having a rough go she wants to find some eggs to sit on but she can't find any coming around to the back on the other side you can see really good shape here's the motor it is also a 93 it's a Yamaha 150 V6 Down at the bottom, come, there's a uh, stainless steel prop. This was actually sitting in my garage. Someone gave it to me a long time ago and I never had a use for it. And I held on to it. And so I was able to put it on the boat. All right, let's climb in the boat, see what we have on the inside. Starting in the back, you can see this is a self bailing boat. So there's holes there. And there and this whole thing here will actually come out it's uh slips in and out and then you have the holes there and there for the water to drain out as it goes there's also a pump in there that'll pump the water out as well this bucket here is just access to these pipes gas lines things like that and here Got my two batteries. You see that? That's my deep cycle battery there on the left, and that's my cranking battery. There's my fuel water separator, and there's my battery switch selector. Right now it's on off, but I can switch it to one battery, the second battery, or both batteries. Coming around to the front, the cockpit. It's got a nice steering wheel. Throttle. I have a Garmin GPS 541S. It's a GPS and a fish finder. It's a bit on the old side, but it still works. It was free. Can't complain. This is my hookup for my uh, radio to contact other ships, but I don't have the radio hooked up right now. It's kind of dinky the way it's set up. I'm going to end up cutting all that out and replacing it with some things my switchboard um now you can see these switches are not labeled i have it written down somewhere i don't know exactly the best way to label that so if anybody has any ideas of how to label this something that'll last please let me know gas gauge or gas gauge is over here the speedometer is here the speedometer does not work but the tachometer does so i'm able to tell how many RPMs I'm using I do go according to the GPS. I can get this boat up to about 37 miles an hour, which isn't bad also has a AM FM radio down there at the bottom. I haven't got that working yet, but I'm still working on it Got the two seats here Only one has padding. That's because this is a fishing boat. This isn't a cruising boat um, Going back to the back Can everyone see that? That is the worst thing in the world. It's a gum tree. Dropped gumballs in my boat constantly, all the time. Absolutely despise it. Coming up to the front. Got a nice little anchor here. You can see now that the line spools into this holder and you just push it down. See it all right there. When you're ready to drop anchor, pull this pin, the anchor falls tie it off on a cleat either that one or that one and you're good to go 
and that's the view from the front nice looking boat as you can see there you go already and I just cleaned it out just a few minutes ago here's my radio antenna my radio antenna pops it up get good reception when my radio is hooked up the horn does not work haven't been able to get that working one of the drawbacks of this boat is as you can see there's no access to the gas tank there's this hole here but I believe this is a 60 gallon gas tank so if that gas tank ever corrodes I don't know how I'm gonna remove it but I'll worry about that when I get there through this door is just a small cabin it's not a whole lot in there just big enough where kids can lay down if it's raining or if it's too hot or whatever they can open up that vent right there and get some fresh air I keep some of my stuff in here tackle box toolboxes flares fire extinguishers life jackets things like that this is a storage compartment just sit just basically empty I don't keep anything in there keep most of the things inside there here's my live well which uh, does work fills up with water drains out the other side and aerates as well and this is just another storage area now this boat has one two three four rod holders but it also has these two which are removable so you can put six rods when you're fishing out of this boat it's hard to troll with six rods but occasionally i have done it if you do we always go slow the last time we trolled with six rods we were fishing for mackerel and in the process we probably caught about 50 mackerel but we only used two of the rods once we got into the school because it was just way too many mackerel being caught at one time well i hope you enjoyed the tour of the key west i'll say that uh it's early march it's cold it's windy but it ain't gonna last long and pretty soon we're gonna have this boat out on the water and there'll be more videos following of us catching fish left and right we're gonna catch rockfish spanish mackerel bluefish we're gonna bottom fish might take it out on james do some cat fishing this boat is very versatile and covers a lot of water small enough to get around the structures bridges and things like that but big enough to cross the bay so stay tuned to the videos and you're gonna see all kinds of exciting fishing action